Most people have heard of these, but they're called RFID chips. You know the, the little credit cards that have like a little chip on the card? Yes. That's an RFID chip? That's an RFID. Okay. And what does it do? What it does is it you can just wave it over something instead of actually physically scanning it like with a magnetic strip. And it will like, access all of your account information and charge your account. Okay, so it's an identity scanner. Yes. And there are thieves out there with their own scanners who right. are stealing the. You could go to How? you could go to Radio Shack okay. and build the same exact setup we have. And if you're a hacker, you can take this encrypted code and get you know date of birth, yeah. uh, street address, um, social security how, number. How, how do you take the? How do they take? The well, I'll show you. Not right that now. he's an expert on security. Guys, no, no, I I'm not. But I, I can, I, I'll show you exactly how it happens. So this is the this is the, the card with an RFID in it, and I don't know if you want to kind of get a little closer here uh, with the camera too. Um, but if you see if you see the code here, it says responding invalid read, not responding, not responding. This has a code in it. I'm going to just pass it over. And you'll see that the so code this starts... This is like we can pretend we're at a checkout stand and we're right. checking out? Exactly. You just, okay. just wave it over. Watch. See that coming? And then you just wave it like that. Okay. And see here's twice. Once. There's once. Twice. So if you take a normal wallet and you put it in a normal wallet, and look what happens. It's still... It's, it's reading it. Because radio waves basically can go through walls. They can go through cars. And the only thing they can't go through are our new line of... It's an RFID wallet. A normal wallet here. It's a normal wallet. And how is it different? Well, I'll show you. Look, if you see it being read, you put it in the wallet, and then you can't read it. It doesn't read it anymore. It's like it's like your credit card is non-existent. The way I like to look at it is, you know, you used to just need a wallet to keep your cards in, but now you need a wallet, like a, a digital wallet, around your card as well. You need, you need kind of two wallets in one, you know? So, so what this has is a shield. It reflects. Oh, it, yeah, it, it reflects. You know, it's kind of like lead to Superman with kryptonite, or something like that, say, right? You know, it just it reflects whatever's in it. And we actually have, since the passports now are all, all have these in them, and that's like probably the most information you can important information you can carry. We carry a uh, a, uh, a passport holder. You know, it has enough room for your boarding pass and a pen for the customs sheet. And you so need it. this just keeps some the. Just walking by, and sure. stealing your info. Absolutely. Stealing your info is there. Yeah, and this, this especially in countries in picture, where yeah, they can go sure. right up to your butt. Right. And get that. I mean, especially in countries that are like tech savvy and do a lot of computer fraud. And, you know, um, this this is something that every traveler is going to need. But more importantly, everybody I think is going to need.